Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Core Keeper video. So in this one, we're going to break down 16 pieces of equipment ranging from weapons, armor, uh, necklaces, rings, offhand items, everything. 16 things that you should definitely pick up uh, to help you enjoy the game more and help you do things a lot better. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and break it down for you. We're going to range these. Uh, we're going to rank them down from number 16 being the a good one to number one being an absolute must have. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 16, we are going to start off with the Ring of Stone and the Ring of Rock. So these early on, you're going to be able to get from the dirt biome walls and from the Forgotten Ruins walls. The Ring of Stone, you'll be able to get from the dirt walls. The Ring of Rock, you'll be able to get from the uh, Forgotten Ruin uh, walls. So you can see right here, they're not too uh, special. But when you're playing early on, one of the things you're going to be doing a lot of is mining. So you look at when you get the set of both of them, you're going to get uh, plus 49 mining damage on top of the plus 14 you get right there. So you're going to have 63 mining damage just from uh, from these two items right here. So super useful early on and odds are while you're mining out there in the uh, dirt biome and in the uh, Forgotten Ruins, you'll probably go ahead and come across these. So definitely be on the lookout for those as you're uh, mining those walls. So in at number 15 is going to be the Caveling Mother's Ring right here. So this is gonna be dropped in Azios's Wilderness. And again, not something too special, but it does help if you're not, if you're just out exploring and stuff like that, it's gonna give you that plus 1.6 health every second. So if you're not um, getting into too much trouble and fighting, I wouldn't recommend using this to fight bosses. Definitely wouldn't uh, recommend it in the Mold Dungeon. Uh, but when you're just out there exploring and stuff like this, having this on, so when you do come across some of the enemies, you'll just automatically be getting that uh, instant health regen. So definitely useful. And this can be found out in the Azios's wild Wilderness. So in the chests out there, you'll see a ton of those around the farms and everything like that. So pick one of these up if you have a chance to. And uh, let's go on to number 14. All right, so number 14 is going to be something else that you find in Azios's Wilderness and uh, more specifically in the Mold Dungeon itself. Not technically, but I mean, some of the infected cavelings will be outside of the mold dungeons. So you have a chance of getting them from there, but the infected cavelings and the mold tentacles inside the mold dungeon will occasionally drop these. Now, in my opinion, I think this is the best ranged weapon in the game. Uh, you do have the fireball staff and uh, you do have the flintlock musket. You've got um, the hand mortar and stuff like that. But this one mainly just for the DPS because this is going to do 1.7 attacks per second. So you see the damage. It's not the greatest damage, but it does get into triple digits at the high side at 118. But the more important thing on this one is going to be a 16% chance to apply poison on hit. Reduce enemy healing received by 75%. So I don't know if you guys have played before. Maybe you uh, haven't. Maybe you have. But when you get poisoned and you try to heal yourself after getting hit, you're taking a huge... Uh, downgrade when you're poisoned to try to heal up so that's what this is going to do to enemies as well so when you're fighting those enemies and they try to heal or they start getting uh, their own regen or something like that this is going to reduce it by 75 uh, percent so that's number 14 let's jump into number 13. all right so number 13 here is going to be another one of the items that you don't necessarily need to use but it's definitely great to have and that's going to be the clot ring now this is dropped uh from defeating the hive mother so if you haven't got it yet, go ahead and farm her a few times, and you should be able to get it pretty easily. But it's going to give you plus three life on melee hit. So early on, after you fight the bosses, this is going to be really useful once you start branching out and going into the other areas, more specifically, as the Asa's Wilderness. So every time you attack, you're going to get plus three life. So when you're out there fighting and everything, this is basically uh, another regen item. And if you have this stacked up with this, you're basically going to be getting 4.6 health. Um, you're going to get 1.6 health every second for the mother Caveling's Mother Ring. And then plus three life on melee hit so every time you're fighting something so definitely useful uh once you get to the later game and even if you're uh just still running around the forgotten ruins or the clay caves or stuff like that definitely useful when you're getting into the uh, fights there so let's move on to number 12. all right so number 12 here is definitely not something that's necessary but it definitely helps you with a few of the bosses and uh, that's going to be glurch and ivy because those uh bosses right there are going to jump around a lot and when you're trying to run through the slime if you don't have the uh a couple other pieces that we're going to talk about here in a minute then you want to be able to move quickly so i use this in the ivy video that i did so if you haven't seen that yet go ahead and check it out but use this and when you equip it in your offhand you're going to be able to press space and you'll shoot forward 200 percent movement speed so when the slimes are jumping at you you'll be able to dodge very quickly so super useful in the boss fights i haven't really used it anywhere else but uh that's one of the main reasons i do recommend it being one so go ahead let's jump uh let's go ahead and jump to the next one all right, so number 11 here is going to be the Ancient Gem Set, the Ancient Gem Ring and the Ancient Gem Necklace. Now, together, you don't see these uh, as being too special. One of the things I do recommend is the mining. So when you do get um, 
into the new areas and you're starting to mine a lot more trying to tear down these walls the ancient gem ring is going to give you plus 62 mining damage and then the ancient gem necklace is going to add plus three mining speed now a lot of people do a miner's build uh using the pickaxes so this is actually going to if you have the set plus 14 percent of your mining damage gets added as melee damage so there's other ways to increase that you can get upwards of i think six to seven hundred mining damage depending on what uh, equipment you use so the way you get these is you'll need the archaeologist skill up here for mining so you're gonna have to go down this way and you still have a very small chance of getting these but i ended up with like eight different ancient gem rings but only one ancient gem necklace so it's rng but you can increase your chances by getting an archaeologist uh, thing here you'll come across a lot of valuables that you can sell for ancient coins as well but to get these necklaces or the necklace and the ring it's going to be super beneficial if you're building a mining class or just to help you mining in general. So let's go ahead and jump to the next one. All right, so number 10 is going to be something else that you find in Azios' Wilderness, and that's going to be the farmer's hat. So if you've been around this area, you've seen the farmers and you've seen the little hunters, uh, cavelings running around. When you're starting to grow your garden, more specifically when you're trying to get those rare uh, plants and you want more resources from your planting, you're going to definitely want this farmer's hat. It's going to give you an extra 10.1% uh, extra harvest chance. Super useful. And going off at number 10, we're going to jump straight to number 9, and that's going to be the petal ring. So you can see this right here. We had a 10.1% extra harvest chance from the farmer's hat. This is going to give you a 22.7% extra harvest chance. Now, both of these can be found in the wilderness. Uh, the petal rings also come from the farmers, and I believe you can get them from the chests around that area too. And the beautiful thing with this, you can actually double up on these rings for a 45.4% chance. With the farmer's hat, it's going to put you up to 55.5% uh, extra harvest chance. So basically every other plant that you harvest, you're going to get multiples of. So with those being done, let's go ahead and jump to number eight. All right, now number eight is going to be one of the other ranged weapons. And I think this is probably the best uh, early game ranged weapon that you can get when you're in the Forgotten Ruins, the uh, clay caves and the dirt biome areas. Because this, does a, this packs a punch. The attacks per second, the DPS is pretty slow but it will do a lot of damage. And this is one really great way if you do have mob farms to go ahead and use early on to uh, increase your range skill. So Flintlock Musket is gonna be next here. Again, a little slow, but it packs a punch. So let's go ahead and jump to the next one. All right, so movement speed uh, in at number seven here, Grub Egg Necklace along with the Larva Ring. So plus 21 max health for the Larva Ring and plus 18.1% melee damage from the Grub Egg Necklace. Now these are gonna be super useful, again, early in game, uh, more importantly than the melee damage. And the max health is going to be the, if you have the set, you're immune to being slowed by the slime. So uh, Glurch's slime, the slime on the floor from if you get ready to fight Gorm the Devourer, and even uh, the slime from Ivy when you get into that fight. When you're into the wilderness, you'll come across a ton of the poison slimes. This will actually prevent you from being slowed by it, so you're not going to get overwhelmed by those, uh, by those enemies. So... So I believe the Larva Ring and the Grub Egg Necklace can both be found in the Clay Caves areas. There's a bunch of chests in that area that you can get, and I'm pretty sure the uh, the Big Larva will drop those. And uh, I, I believe both bosses, either Gorm and Glur or uh, excuse me, and the Hive Mother, Hive Mother have a chance of dropping them as well. So super useful to uh, keep yourself from being slowed by slime if you get overwhelmed by either of those bosses, or the ton of slimes that are running around the game. So those are super useful. Let's go ahead and jump to the next one. All right, so number six here is going to be another set. We're going to fit into the two into one here. It's going to be the larva helm and the larva chest. Now, the larva helm can be dropped by uh, the hive mother, and the larva chest can be dropped by Gorm. These are super useful. If you saw my mining video, these are really useful. Plus 28 mining damage, and then plus 26 mining damage. We talked about increasing your mining damage. Uh, I wouldn't use these for a mining class, but they are super useful, especially if you're in the clay caves trying to do some mining or exploring down there, because you put this on and you'll be disguised as a larva. So the larva will basically leave you alone. Now you won't be able to attack them, but they also won't be able to attack you. So super useful just for exploring. Uh, you are gonna be slowed down a little bit, but nothing you can't make up with some food. So let's go ahead and jump to number five. All right, so number five is a really interesting uh, set here. It's gonna be Ivy Storm Harness and Ivy Storm Pants. Uh, Ivy's pants so both of these will be dropped by Ivy the drop rate is pretty low so you may have to farm her a few times just to uh, get these but you can see 70 max health and 31% critical hit damage for Ivy store and harness and then we have 65 max health and 31% critical hit damage from the pants so these alone are super nice to have but you set, see right here the two set plus 26% critical hit chance for a short duration after applying poison now applying poison is going to be one thing that you can use with the poisonous sickle which i don't have on this list but applying poison with the blowpipe or the poisonous sickle you're going to increase your critical hit chance right there so all right let's go ahead and jump to number four 
All right, so number four is going to be something else that's dropped by Ivy, and that's going to be the Remedaisy Necklace. Now, I believe this can also be dropped by some of the slime, the poison slimes in the wilderness. What this is going to do, point blank, is just make you immune to poison. So all the purple slime that you're going to come across, and when you do go to fight Ivy herself, you can have this on ahead of time, and you'll be immune to the poison when you're running around. So that's basically it for that one. Nothing more need to be said, immune to poison. So let's go ahead and get to the top three here. All right, so number three is going to be another set. That's going to be our Mold Vein Necklace and the Mold Ring. And again, not too worried about the stats here. Plus 23% 7 range damage and plus 13% critical hit chance. More importantly, you're going to want this when you're going through the Mold Dungeon. If you haven't been there yet, that you will go in there, slow down completely, and the enemies will overwhelm you. These will be dropped by the Infected Cavelings and the Mold Tentacles that are in that area. Go ahead and get these so you're immune to that Mold Infection. You can run around a heck of a lot quicker in the Mold Dungeon with this set right here. All right, so rounding out number two, I think you guys already know we got two things right here left. Number two is going to be the Ancient Pickaxe, mainly because it's the best pickaxe in the game, right? And a lot of people are using this for their mining class because you can convert a lot of that mining damage. You see right here, 354 mining damage just from the Ancient Pickaxe alone. So you're building a mining class and you want to convert that mining damage to melee damage, this is going to be your Ancient Pickaxe. And it's also the strongest one, so when you're breaking a lot of the walls, you're going to want to get these. Now, these can actually be found. They'll be dropped from Azios himself, so once you go start fighting him, you can farm him a little bit and get some of these, or you can find them in those magical rooms that we've shown you on the map in the uh, Ancient Pickaxe video. So definitely have to get yourself one of these. And rounding out number one is going to be the best sword in the game, the Rune Song. Now, you can craft this by getting the Rune Parchment from the Caveling NPC, the Caveling Merchant. You'll have to get a lot of different items for it. Again, I've got a video on how to get all those items and how to get this. And basically, the biggest selling point for this thing, we do know that there are changes to the repairs. This thing does not need any repairs. It has zero uh, durability. It doesn't have to be repaired. It cannot get damaged. It does 185 to 225 melee damage, 2.5 attacks per second, plus 62 max health, plus 3 life on a melee hit. Again, we're talking about that regen. This is it. And another big key, plus 15% chance on, on a hit to kill any target that has lower health than you. So go ahead and bump up your health. You see we're sitting at 640, 646 with the equipped right now. Throw on some food, accessories, everything to increase your health, and you'll be able to uh, one-shot a lot of stuff. So that's what we got for this video, guys. That's 16 items that I think you definitely need to get in the game. So uh, make sure you like, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Do you have uh, things higher ranked, lower ranked? Are there some that are not even on my list? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe. We'd love to have you join the community. Link in the description to join the Discord for Core Keeper where we're talking everything from these items. Uh, base builds, where to find some rare stuff, and everything. So go ahead and join us there. With that being said, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and as always, stay original, my friends. We'll see you in the next one. Later.